I prefer the color of this bag. This bag gets more use. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to share with you my five most used Chanel bags. One of the questions I get asked a lot, no doubt because I have a bag or two, is which one of those bags do you actually use? Which ones just look pretty on the shelf and which ones do you actually wear? So I did make a video previously on my five most used Louis Vuitton bags and now I am going to share with you my five most Chanel bags. And I think number five, and I'm going to rank these from my least to most used of the top five and I think my five most used does that make sense number five of my most used bags is probably going to shock some of you and it is my classic flap in the black caviar in the silver hardware and this is just a little lily silk scarf that I tied around this bag in a meeting a while ago I had brought it with me in case I needed it around my neck and I tied it around the bag and I like it on it so I've just kept it on it so that's what that is that's just a lily silk scarf but number five fifth most used Chanel bag is the medium classic flap in the caviar in the black in the silver hardware and I am sure this will surpri surprise quite a lot of people one because it's black two because the classic flap is known as being quite awkward to wear the strap length isn't great it can be a bit fussy on the inside but I think it's a really really beautiful bag I think it's a stunning bag. I use this bag to work a lot. It suits, I have a corporate professional type work environment and I think this bag suits it perfectly. I have the strap on mine extended. So for me, this bag fits comfortably under my arm. It's not stuck away up here. It fits comfortably whenever I double it up and carry it on my shoulder or this sits perfectly on me crossbody either over my suit or over a suit and a winter coat this sits perfectly and I think that's why this bag is now number five of my most used Chanel bags before I got the strap length extended on this this bag was always in my least used bags and it's because as a black bag that was bought as a work bag and bought quite corporate looking didn't work for me with that strap length. I couldn't put it across my crossbody. I couldn't comfortably get it under my shoulder, especially not if I had a coat on. I wear a suit to work, so you've got a blazer and then you've got a coat and then this was tucked away up in here. Not comfortable at all, not attractive at all. So it was always on my least used until I got the chain extended. And since the chain has been extended on this bag, I just think for me, it is now such a usable bag. It has been a game changer. You can see that mine is getting, it's still in great condition, but it is getting some indentations from being used. I do keep the dust bag in it when I'm not using it. You can see my tissues in there. It does have probably a few marks on it, but I'm okay with that because at the price that even I paid for this bag, nowhere near today's retail price, thank goodness, but at the price that I paid for this bag, it was still a very, very expensive bag. And I think for quite a long time, it was the most expensive bag I had ever bought. I wanted to use it. I did not want to spend this sort of money on a bag and it to be sitting on the shelf. No, wanted to use it. And the only way for me that it became usable was lengthening the strap. And I know that's extreme. And I know you send away your baby to get cut open and the strap extended. But for me, it has been an absolute game changer. No regrets at all. And this one is number five of my most used Chanel bags. Number four, and this is interesting because I recently or a little while ago did a video on my neglected bags, my five least used bags. And this one featured in it. And it surprised me and it surprised everybody because this has historically been one of my most used bags. I love this bag. I love the graffiti style. I love the mini reissue. I love the shape. I love the size. I love the in your face Chanel graffiti look. It says right Chanel there, right across it, in your face. Can't miss it. I love it. Love a bit of Gaudi. Love a bit of tacky. Love a bit of in your face. I think the reason it was on my neglected bags in the last video was because I had used this bag so much. I'd probably overused it and then I needed a little break from it because it was going everywhere all the time and I needed to use something else. So I took a little break from it, put it back on the shelf and then I reignited my love for it and I've been using this bag a lot again. It To me, it's just so funky. It's so usable. It goes with so much. I love that it's not a plain black bag. Plain black bags are not my favourite things in the world. Confession time. I know a lot of people have full black handbag collections, but that's not for me. I love colour. 
as you can see, love it in your face. So this just has enough of vava boom across it and being black, I still love it. I wear it so much. So this is back up at number four of my most used bags. I would say before when I've done this video, this was probably higher. It's not right back up at the top yet, but it has been summer. So I have been using a lot more color probably when I've been looking at smaller bags, but she's definitely back up at number four and has been getting a huge amount of use. And I think forever will be one of my favorite bags. Like Chanel Graffiti, how, how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Number three of my most used Chanel bags is bringing a little bit of color into our lives and it's this one. Now, I prefer, if I was organized for my videos, I prefer the color of this bag. This bag gets more use. And the simple reason is this one is lambskin and this one is caviar. And I am not someone who's scared to use bags. I use my bags. I use my Birkin to go and get the groceries. I use that already cap your scenes to go out for coffee. I use my bags. I'm not scared to use them, but I'm also not silly. And I do look after them and I don't overuse them if they call for a little bit of delicacy. And I do not use them whenever I think that there's going to be a good chance they'd be damaged or it's not the environment for them. I'm not going to the right place. The weather's not right. And because this one is lambskin, it just doesn't get as much use as this one, which is caviar. Not only is this lambskin, it's chevron. I love chevron. I prefer chevron to quilting. So I prefer the color of this bag and I prefer the chevron of this bag to the quilting of this one. But this one still gets used a lot more and it's simply because it's caviar. Don't get me wrong, I like the color of both. I adore the color of this one. This one looks quite red on camera. It's got, it's slightly probably more raspberry, but the caviar just makes it so usable because it's so durable. There isn't a mark on this bag for the amount that it's been used. And I use this with all colors. There's no color transfer. There's no edge wear. You wouldn't even know this bag is used. And I have used this bag a lot. This one I still use. I still use a good bit, but I am more careful with and I'm just more conscious of what I'm wearing with it and where I'm going. It's still perfect. There's no color transfer. There's not a mark on it, but that's because I don't make silly choices with it. But that being said, I prefer the color of this and I prefer the chevron pattern, but it's still not used as much as this one. So this one is number three of my most used Chanel bags and it's because of that caviar. It's still a bright color. It's still a pop of color. It's still a beautiful bag. I know I'm dissing on the, the quilting, the traditional quilting. I just personally really love chevron, but I do really like this bag. It's number three on my most used. It's very easy to use, gives a pop of color. Caviar, don't need to worry about it. Silver hardware, which goes with everything. Really, really like this bag and it's number three. Number two on my most used Chanel bags is my Chanel 19 in the black. Again, a black bag being so high up and that might shock even me and some people that watch me regularly. It's just because it's so usable. I think the Chanel 19 is such a functional bag and I'm sure if you watch me a lot, you're fed up hearing me say this, but I think this is the bag where Chanel's fashion, Chanel's design meets functionality. It's so easy to use. I had this with me. I've used this a lot. I use this on weekend trips because it's big enough to fit things. It's not overly, I can manage on it all day, even though I have shoulder injury and it's not too heavy, even with the chains. It fits a lot in it. I just really love it. I think it also has a bit of an edge to it. So I wear, I have an All Saints black leather jacket, which I wear a lot. And when I wear that, I like to wear this. I just like the look of them together. I think the chains on this, the massive quilting, I just think it has a bit more edginess to it than maybe some of the other Chanel designs. And that's why I use this so much. I also love slipping my phone in this back pocket. It's really easy to get at. I wear this crossbody, even though it's not as long as say the minis, but it fits me fine crossbody. I also carry this by the top handle quite a lot. And I, when I bought this, and when I've bought a lot of my bags, I used to think I would only wear them crossbody because crossbody was my preferred. I have since, since learned the error of my ways and I do not need every bag to be crossbody. And I wear this one a lot by this little top handle, but it's, it's really, really usable. Again, the same as I probably prefer the color of that pinky purpley one and the chevron. I probably prefer, where is it? The tweed, the houndstooth tweed. I prefer the pattern of that one, but I wear this one more. 
One, because it is a much more durable, it's leather as opposed to that one being tweed and that's a loose tweed, that's a tweed on the outside, you have to be careful with balling. That one, if you wore a lot, you're really gonna see the wear on it. I do use it and I do use it often enough, but I'm just careful not to overuse it. This one is leather and I have thrown this about. I have taken this bag everywhere. This bag has been on the ground. This bag is used like an everyday handbag, in my opinion, should be used. Now I'm not stupid with it and I do look after it. It's a huge amount of money, but it gets a lot of everyday use. I think very, very usable. Black as well, as opposed to the hound's tooth. The thing about black is it does go with everything as much as I prefer color. But when it comes to that look that I'm talking about with my black leather jacket, I think this works really, really well. And this one at the minute is number two of my most used Chanel bags. When this bag first came out, funny story, I didn't like it. When I saw the press shots for this and the press was like a pinky reddy color and it was like a pillow bag, I looked at it and was all smug and thought, oh, I've saved some money, I don't like that, not buying that. Now I have two <laughs> and for a while wanted three. I do, I, it grew on me and I know that not everybody loves the Chanel 19, but for me, great bag, very usable. Up there is number two in my most used Chanel bags. And at the moment, my most used Chanel bag is this one. <laughs> This is another bag that featured in my neglected bags in the neglected bag tag. It was one of my least used. But I did say in that video, I thought it was one of my least used because we'd been in winter. We've just been through summer and I use this bag a lot in summer. I think in the sunshine is when this bag comes into her own. The shimmery shiny of the metallic. I love the gold hardware on this one. I love the mix of the colors. I just love that she's so bright and vibrant and for using mine basically all through the summer, there's not a mark on it. This bag is metallic. I have got a wear and tear video on this somewhere, but there's not a mark on it. And that's with another summers of use since that last video. There's no color transfer on it. And I wear this with denim. I wear it with denim cutoffs quite a lot in the summer. Not a mark on it, absolutely love it. The other one that I probably interchange this one is this one because I love the pattern of this tweed. I love the colors in it and I love the chain that runs through it. The reason this one is probably more used than this one over the summer is because this one is the one I tend to take on holiday and it's simply because it's leather. Now I know it's metallic and people would say that can be a bit more vulnerable than traditional leather but this one's tweed so I am just more careful about traveling with this one or this one being in my suitcase and I know all bags can get damaged in your suitcase but the tweed I just am a little bit more aware of whereas this one has been to quite a few places with me and just love. I also like about this one which this one doesn't have this is the traditional mini so was the, you would have to tie on the inside the strap to make it shorter. Whereas this has the four grommets. So this one easily carries like this. So I can carry this one on my shoulder easily. Or what I actually did quite a lot in the summer with this one when we were away was I just carried it like this and it didn't go cross body or on my shoulder. And that's easier with the mini reissue than what it is with that one, which is the traditional mini, which is another reason why I think this one has got a bit more wear than that one. Now I have a few minis. I love minis. It can really come down to the mood that I'm having in that period of time. I will go through moods or phases when I will use certain colors more than others. And that would change if I did this video say in another four months, it might be a different mini that's up here as opposed to the ones that are. And it's really just what color palette I am reaching for at the time. Love color, I, I change my mind at times, but certainly over the last few months with summer, this one has been my most used bag. This was used a lot this summer. It is coming out of summer now, so she's probably gonna go back onto the shelf for a while and we'll maybe get some of these darker bags coming in. I'm looking forward to using this tweed again. I use that one a lot in the autumn. I love that bag, but this one at the minute is my most used Chanel bag. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope it's given you a little bit of insight into my collection and what actually gets used. If it has been enjoyable or interesting, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.